Hey guys! Been a while since I made a video, huh? Well, I do have something interesting today anyway. Uh, shouldn't be too boring, and maybe it won't even be too long. How about that? But, first thing I want to do is, if you look down there, down there, <laughs> just above my hot bar, you'll see I've got 35 levels. Let's go enchant a book. We'll do that, and then I'll go show you what I've been working on. I uh, haven't been building anything other than a really, well, a much bigger uh, reed farm down there, but sugarcane farm. You'll see that. We'll go look at that first. And then I'll show you what I've really been doing. So let's get a book here. Okay. Enchant this book and see what we get. Just bam. Unbreaking three. Not bad. You'll see I've got a few tools on me. I've been doing a little caving. Actually, I've been wanting to get coal. Uh, I'll show you why in a minute. Let's put this Unbreaking 3 book right here. Unbreaking 2. Okay. Now then. <clears throat> I've been needing a lot of sugar cane. The reason being... Something else I'll show you in just a minute. Haha, uh -huh, not telling you. Okay, down we go and jump off right here. Okay, there's reeds in there. So this is what I've been doing. I've got this reed farm down here, which, oh, it's a good thing. It's just, really? Hmm. Okay. Zombies dying there. Let's harvest all this, this sugar cane because this will, I've got my sounds pretty low. I don't know why that's so loud. In any case, um, yeah. I've been doing some things here, and uh, I actually had made another video a couple, uh, week or so ago and never got to upload it, so this is going to take its place. I've got my sounds down turned down to 14. I don't know why this is so loud. Here, let me turn it down a bit more. Um, sound. There, that's better. I think how harvesting sugarcane is just loud. Alright. Sorry for no talking here. It's kind of hard to talk when you got all this noise going on. <clears throat> Almost done. I'm going to use my pickup perk. Pick up 15 radius. Alright, you'll see i got a lot of this stuff here now. That's great. Uh, yeah, I built this little area down here to... Uh, this is a little workshop and storage area while I'm working down here. Oh, shut up, zombie. Nobody loves you. Alright, I'm going to go up here now and we'll show you what I've been working on. the ladder into the water. hope it's not getting too dark just yet. Nah, it's still midday. And up we go. We're in 1.6.4 now on Serenity. Uh, waiting for Bucket to update to the newest 1.7. It's 171 or 172 now. Not, I don't remember. Anyhow. This is what I've been working on. Matter of fact, this guy's still... There we go. i got a librarian here. And I've listed all the trades that I have unlocked with them here. This is all the villagers. I've got two librarians for a reason here. I actually should probably put this guy over here next to this one. Um, yeah. So, this here. Currently, he's a perfect paper villager. Uh, I'll show you if I... There we go. Go in here and look at his last trade. He wants paper for emeralds. Which is great because... 
I don't have to worry about using up all his trades and making him mad at me where he don't want to trade anymore. Uh, I got a butcher here. He does, I think he does a coal trade. Is he the one that does the coal trade? No. Uh, but he does meat for emeralds. And here we go. This guy. Okay, so I've unlocked 26 trades on him. And I think that may be all he does. But, uh, if you look over here, way back here. And let's see. The 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. His 22 trade is coal. And you know how common coal is in this game. So, we do a lot of trading with him. And this guy here, I used him for a while. He's got a paper trade down here. But I haven't really... There you go. He wants 24 paper for an emerald, but it's not his last trade. He wants 11 books for an emerald after that. If you, you know, you trade for a while and then you get red X's right here and he doesn't want to trade anymore. You have to go to his last trade, make that, and then he will unlock this one again. But, uh, I've done maybe two trading, maybe three trading sessions, and this is what I've got. Two stacks plus 42 emeralds. So let's, let's craft this up here into paper. Oh, let's save that one off. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then just these last ones here. Did I put some more somewhere? Nope. Okay. We'll just put that right here. For now. That one piece. <clears throat> so, I'm... Hmm, which guy should I use? Uh... Actually, I really can't right now. I don't have the stuff I need to do it. But with the the reason you want to get <clears throat> a villager with his last trade is paper. <clears throat> it's because, excuse me, he doesn't want to... Uh, if you, you can't make him lock you out. Now, he will eventually stop trading, but since this is his last trade, he'll do the whole sparkly, swirly thing, and you'll immediately get your trade back. So, you know, let's watch. Do this. Take all of those. Take all of those. Uh, now, see, he won't let me do this one. You heard him say, Arr. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? But go ahead and sparkle for me. Awesome. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now he's ready to trade again. You just keep doing this over and over. Until he wants to trade again, or until he stops trading. What's he say? Was he going to let me have that? Nope. See? So you have to keep doing it. I'm going to trade all this paper away. Just to show you how much you can get from one trading session. <laughs> go. Oh, now he's not going to do it, but that's okay. We will sparkle him. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Now, and we'll do this. See, I've got 15 emeralds already. All right, we're going to put that over here. I guess I should move down here so you can see what trade I'm doing. There we go. Alright, keep going. Oh, he's done. Back out. Wait for him to sparkle. I always like to go over here to make sure that, that he hasn't added any new trades, because if they do, I may not be able to get my stuff back. Uh -huh. Nope, see? He's done again. Back off. And sparkle. <clears throat> villagers, anyway, as I was saying, villagers, people give villagers a bad rap, but 
They are possibly the most OP, overpowered thing in this game. <laughs> Let's see hello to the new guy. Hello. <clears throat> do I have my paper in here? Yes, I do. Now look, check that out. Three stacks and four. <clears throat> so. Then you go. You can take your emeralds and you can trade them to these guys for different things. Uh, I will never need to use uh, uh, diamonds ever again as long as we have this map. I'll never again need to use diamonds to make tools or armor because I can go over here to the blacksmith. Blacksmith has the most trades, I think, of anybody in the game. Maybe it's possible a priest has more, but I don't know if I don't know how exactly how many they have. And this guy, I'm not sure if he's done yet. But as you can see, he wants 16 emeralds for a diamond chest plate, but that's nothing because I, I've basically got an infinite supply of emeralds now. And there you go, shovel. There's a 10 emeralds for a diamond pick. Uh, 10 emeralds for, I think he does, uh, 12 emeralds for a diamond sword. And like I said, it doesn't matter that how many emeralds he wants, because I can always get as many as I want, or as I need. Uh, diamond leggings, pick, shovel, boots, helmet. But the good thing is, though, and this is my favorite, the chainmail stuff. I've got an entire suit of chainmail right there. And, yeah, so, oh, come on, dude. First of all, let's go over here and sleep so these guys will knock it off. I can't sleep. There are monsters nearby. Die, die, die. I've got my doors on sideways so they can't get in. Get off. A little bit of lag there. Nope, get off. Oh, he hit me again. Come on. Where are you? I'm not... Oh, hello. I'll take that. Maybe there are no creepers out here. <clears throat> I think I've got these guys lit so I can sleep now. And... Yes. Okay. These villagers just make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, I hear an Enderman out there. Go away, dude. Yeah. Um, tools, weapons, armor. I'm set. I don't. Uh, I don't ever need to use diamonds again. Let's see. This guy's got 13 trades, and he can do some minor enchanting for me. So, for example, if I give him this an axe and three emeralds, he'll give me a diamond axe with efficiency two on it. Not bad. Um, this is good right here because I can use emeralds to get bottles of enchanting. And even though he wants, see that? One. Just one emerald gets me three bottles of enchanting. Now above level 16, that's not going to make much difference. But up to level 16, these things are great. And they're really also really great for keeping handy if you just need to top off that last little bit of level 29 so you can get to 30. Having a few of these around is pretty handy so you don't have to go out and kill things and keep just get your hands dirty doing the commoner things, you know. <laughs> so, let's see here. Uh, projectile Protection 3. You can get Thorns 1 from this guy. It's, I mean, it's on iron armor, but iron's plentiful. I'm not... You can just get that all day. Uh, efficiency 3. Ah, oh, here we go. Protection 3, Thorns 1. So, I can go down there, talk to the blacksmith, get a diamond chest plate, give him that two emeralds, and I get protection three and thorns one. You know? So that's pretty awesome. This is not the best trade in the world. <laughs> Diamond sword, two emeralds, smite two. Yeah, I know. Uh, as you can see, pickaxe, emeralds, efficiency one, that's not too bad. So far, that's his best trade, though. Um, yeah, plenty left. See? This is great. Um, you, it pretty much, they make mining obsolete. They don't have to. I still love to go out and mine. Uh, but 
If I really need a tool right away, I got it. I got 21 wheat for an emerald. I got wheat for days. Uh, that I'm not worried about at all. Chickens. Uh, yeah, right, no. No. Uh, I had to make this trade right here. I don't know how many times. And uh, that one's nothing I'm ever going to do because I've got a skelly farm. And that's his last trade. So I can do the meat for emeralds trades with this guy. And then when I'm done, all I can have to do is go over here, give him an emerald, get six apples, and I can do them all over again. So I've got options. Lots and lots of options. Uh, this librarian is not quite as good. Uh, give him a written book. He gives you an emerald. I can do that for days. I'm not sure. See, I could give him three emeralds and get three books back. Make those into written books, give them back to him, and get three emeralds back. So that's not a bad trade. It's just dead even. I don't get any. I don't gain anything from it. All right. And that's a really bad trade. I had to do that one a few times too, though. That's a really bad trade. Okay, thorns one. This isn't bad, because I can take the book, go over here, get some emeralds, or even get some emeralds from this guy, uh, combine those into Thorns 1, do that a couple of times, and I've got suddenly I've got a, th a Thorns 3 book. Uh, paper. This was his best trade for a while, 24 paper for an emerald, but he moved on and added this last trade. So, if I trade too many times and he X's these out, then I have to get 11 books. Get that emerald from him, and then I can go back and do this again. So, he did his job. He's not as good as this guy, though. Uh, in case you're wondering about this carpet, there's just glowstone under there. I didn't know what to do with it yet, so I figured that was a good way to hide it for now. Uh, butcher. Butchers have, I believe, 11 trades. And you, he trades emeralds first things, which he's not going to get anything from me out of those. Excuse me just a second. I have to reach over here. My ear is itching. Okay. And here. Uh, let's keep moving on. Uh, emeralds. Yeah. 14 raw beef for one emerald. That's not bad. Uh, build up a lot of, of, uh, <laughs> of meat over, at, uh, over there getting leather from my cows. And with a Looting three sword, that's not bad. And if I were to ever need a saddle, here we go, six emeralds. I have like 40-something saddles now. <laughs> and I've got meat forever. Now, see, pork for an emerald. Uh, but this stuff, uh, steak for an emerald. Yeah, this, these things, once you get these guys... Just up and running like this, <clears throat> get all their trades maxed out. I was lucky. I had to go through about 15 villagers to get this guy. But I was lucky when I finally did, because I believe he's going to be the perfect paper villager. Uh, I've made that particular trade with him a lot of times. And he has never moved on or added another trade. He did negotiate down from 26. He, had, he wanted 26 paper. He's negotiated down to 24 paper now. I guess because I've traded with him so many times. I don't know. In any case, there we go. Yeah. So, tools, weapons, armor. Uh, I should never have to use another piece of iron or diamond ever again to make tools or weapons or armor. Uh, I can just trade with these guys. And all I really need is uh, sugar cane. That fuels the economy with these guys. Uh, so yeah, it's great. Um, I haven't noticed any flickering. That's good. Um, I keep saying um. I'm trying to think. I don't... I haven't made a video in a while. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm trying to think if there's anything I, else I need to talk about. These guys... Uh, periodically, I have to kill these guys. <laughs> I have to kill most of them off because they uh, uh, they overpopulate and lag the server. Look at all the look at all these guys. 
Now that water is in there for a reason. I, uh, I needed to push them into the corner. And while it doesn't push them all the way into the corner, that's okay. It gets enough of them, crams them over there, that I can run... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, that's loud. I can run a minecart over here. It'll hit, boink, and it'll pick one of them up. There's a librarian right there right now. Um, I'm thinking of... See, the, the golems tend to come right over here at night and just congregate in this area right here. I'm thinking of building a drop chute right here that'll drop them down a few a couple of blocks, put their heads in lava, and uh, take their iron from them, which, I mean, I've got lots of iron. I don't really need to do that. Uh, if I ever need to, I will, though. Now, these horses in here, they are... Hmm. Yep. Hey, buddy. Why are you in there? I still have my... Oh, that horse is missing. Let me see here. Did anybody adopt a horse? Nope. Guess not. Oh, well. That's okay. These horses are free, by the way. Anybody on Serenity, if you want one, it's yours. Ow. I keep forgetting there's a low ceiling here. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all that's changed. I haven't done a lot around here. I guess we could go... Tell you what, I'm going to wait till the sun goes down here. I'll go check on a few things. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this. I need to go make sure I haven't bred too many chickens since the last time I did a killing. Uh, sometimes this automatic chicken farm over here really makes a lot of chickens. And it makes them quickly sometimes. I guess the... I don't know what causes that. I mean, the chickens lay eggs on a semi-predictable timer. Oh, good grief. Yes. See, I just killed these things today. And that's... we got to do something about this. And it doesn't matter if I kill the baby chickens. I uh, don't know. Whoop, hello? Lag? Lag? Am I going to get kicked off here? Nope. Uh -huh. See, but this can cause a lot of lag. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Too many chickens, too many mobs, and period. I think I just killed a baby. But that doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want to do that because nobody wants to kill babies. But, there we go. And let's do the pickup thing again. That way I can get my stuff. I will... It's starting to get dark. Let's put these eggs in here. See, I'm, it's firing the eggs out. That's good. Now, what we've got, though, up here is a lot of chickens. <laughs> and those chickens lay eggs. They go in a hopper, and the hopper fires them out, and you get baby chickens. i got to get out of here. This is what we were waiting on, anyway. I need to, uh... <clears throat> I need to sleep. Then we're going to ride the horse. If I can remember how to get there. Because you'll notice I don't have my mini-map. It hasn't updated. Or I just haven't gotten it yet. We're going to take a horse, and we're going to go try and find the skelly farm. Come on, guys. Ah, there we go. Oh, I got on that side of the bed this time. Okay. Well, I do have one horse here that's fairly fast, which means it's probably not going to work worth a darn. Because with the chunk loading thing, i got lots of diamond armor and stuff now. That's a good thing. Take that and a saddle. As you can see, there's 48 saddles here. Uh, I'll, I'm never going to need to buy a saddle from the villagers. Uh, let's see here. This guy right here. Oops. Um, here. We'll just put it on in this way. 
Open. Go out. Whoa! Yeah, I see I told you, this horse is fast. And that can be a problem, especially if you're having even the smallest amount of lag on your server. Uh, is that to open? Yeah, this is to close. There we go. Now, whoa! <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's out of your out of your jurisdiction there. All right, we're gonna ride over here anyway, and try to find the skelly farm. I haven't been over there in a while. Not this way. Normally, I just teleport over there. But I think I can get there this way if I remember how. I'm pretty sure I can. All right, now. We need to go over here. Go up. Ah! Horse, you're too fast. There we go. Uh, yeah, I believe this is the way right here. Jeez. Um. Hmm, yeah, this is the right way. Because I believe right over here if I go down here yeah okay I'm stuck crap All right, here we go now then. <clears throat> all right now I died over here one time once All right, there should be Yep, desert here, and we want to go this way. Stay out of the tree farm. Whoop, creeper hole. I didn't do this one. Oh, come on. <clears throat> yeah, the skelly farm's just right over here. I know where I'm at now. I actually died in that hole once. I think I remember telling you guys about that. So, whoa, what is going on here? Is it lag? Well, we're here in any case. Ah, seriously, get me out of here! No! Uh... Dude? Come out of there. You were killing me. That wasn't cool. Alright, now then. <laughs> That's a kind of new hole. Wait, where am I? Oh. Okay, so this guy is going to get point right here. You stay. And right over here is the skelly farm. I want... I, d I did a little bit of work over here. Uh, just basic stuff. I used stone and maybe a little bit of wood. Just needed a place to bed down to increase the natural mob spawn rates outside. Oh, seriously. All right, you can actually look inside there. Let me disguise myself as a mob uh, skeleton. Now then, I can, they won't shoot at me if I do this. That's it, basically. I can turn these lights on base, and almost completely stop all the mob spawns. Uh, they spawn, drop in. It's the standard old-style mob system thing there. Spawner trap. And uh, I came down here, changed a few things. I've been working on these uh, enchanted bows, though. I have, let's see here, I have a lot of bows. So, I don't, I'm not sure if I explained all this before. They, uh, the skeletons come around that way, and they fall, drop right here, and they take just a little bit of fall damage. And then I push this button, and you see the lava. There it goes in and gone. They burn for, geez, what is it, 15 ticks? I don't know. No, that's more than that. They take 15 hearts of damage, I guess, plus the little bit of fall damage they take there. And they're a, a one-punch kill, or I, I usually just throw a health potion at them. And uh, when it gets too late, I'll come in here, I'll sleep, I'll go right back at it. I don't use this much anymore. Uh, that we've got the Enderman farm, and 
if I really need levels that's what I do. But I can come over here occasionally and pick up a few levels if I need them. So let's get out of here now. I'm gonna go back home. Come on. Really let me out. Okay, now then. I can go this whoa, I fell in the hole. Now if I do this. Aha. I think if I go over here, pick up my horse now. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> I can make it home before it gets dark. No. Give me that. Where's the... Thank you. Alright. Hi-ho! Let's go home. Uh, so far I haven't been able to breed a horse that will jump more than three and a half blocks. And that kind of makes me sad because the horse that was killed over here was my one and only four jumper. And I really liked that horse. He was fast and he could jump. And we're lagging. Uh, this guy is quick. Don't get me wrong. This is one of the faster horses I've ever had. Um, but yeah, he's... I miss that, that one that could jump four high. And I know we're headed the right direction because of these slabs on the ground here. I'm not sure if somebody's wanting to build a road here or what. However... If I go around this way, I should be coming back up on Monkey Estates any second. Oh, don't go in the... Great guy. That's the only problem with a horse that goes really fast. You've got to have uh, roadways and things that are designed for fast animals. For fast travel like this. Back up. Down the road. Yeah, we're almost home now. This guy boogies. He moves. Uh, yeah, I haven't given him a name yet, but I'm thinking of naming him. I think you, you guys might have seen where I named one of my horses Little Red. Because I had a horse named Little Red at one time, believe it or not. And I'm, Oh, I'm still a skeleton. Okay. Uh, Let's get out of here, guy. Let's undisguise me. Um, uh, hmm. Whoa. Alright, now then. We're almost home now. But anyway, I did have a horse. His his name was Little Red. And he was about the color of that other one that, that I, I named that over there. Well, his dad, and this is actually his son. Daughter, whatever. Things in Minecraft don't have gender. But, uh. The, the other horse I have over there, Little Red. He was Prince's son. They were both Quarter Horse Morgan mixes, if you know what that means. Uh, if you're into horses, you will. Uh, a Morgan is a breed of horse, as is a Quarter Horse. Uh, that one most people have heard of. So, he, Little Red, was the son of Prince. This guy, though, oh, get off. He is the same color, pretty much, that Prince was. He's a little darker. He was a uh, lineback dun, actually. A little bit darker than a dun. But I think this guy, I'm going to name Prince. So if you will come in here, even though the parentage is backwards on these, I'm naming the son after the father, or, or the father after the son in this case, but. Let's see here. Put this stuff away. Go away. Let's go get a name tag. We're going to name him. He's not the best jumper, but he is fast. And he's that's just like his namesake. Uh, that horse was the real life uh, prince. He was stunted when he was young. My sister did not feed him well. Didn't take good care of him. I mean, she took good care of him. She just didn't feed him right. So he was much smaller than he should have been. He was only 12 hands high, I think. And a hand is 4 inches. Anyhow, let's name this thing. We're going to call him Prince. Come on. P-R-I-N-C-E. Ta-da! <coughs> 
Alright. Here we go. Name tag. And let's go up here and give this guy a name. I mean, I've got nothing else to use name tags on, so why not these guys? Oops. There we go. Huh. Prince. But yeah, uh, that's the progress I've made around here. And I really wanted to mainly just show you the villager trading because that is awesome. Um, most people, I mean, people like, like I said earlier, people underrate villagers and their trading capabilities in this game. And you really shouldn't do that. The reason being, uh, that bed is not occupied. The reason being, it's not as crappy as people think it is. It's seriously overpowered, if you ask me. Uh, being able to buy, to get any diamond weapon, armor, uh, tool in the game, including chainmail, uh, that, I mean, and get it basically for free, just by having a bit of uh, sugar cane on hand. Oops, put that back. Just by using sugar cane. Um, that's OP, if you ask me. So, anyway guys, I'm gonna go and get this video edited up and maybe upload it tonight. And we will see y'all later. Bye.